Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be doing another little tutorial with the Novino palette. You've probably already seen uh, two other videos with this palette, but like I said in the previous one, I am doing this because I just don't want to use the palette once and then put it aside. Um, and if you are thinking about getting the palette, I also want you to see what the options are, what the possibilities are, and um, hopefully it will help you decide whether it's worth it, whether it's for you or not. This is the look I did for today's video. I still can't decide if I like it, but it was rather eventful tutorial. A lot went wrong. Um, yeah, I was even thinking whether to post it or not, but then I thought, well, whatever, I'm just a human and sometimes I have really bad makeup days, as everybody else, so why not? I hope you enjoy it. Let me know. <laughs> I've got base on, I've got eye primer, and I put a bit of tape over here just to have a guidance for my eyeshadows. And the first eyeshadow I'm gonna start with is this beautiful yellow one. It doesn't show as bright on the eye. It's more like a banana y type of yellow. And I put it in the inner corner above the crease. And build it up. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay all the colors I want to use and then I will go back and I will intensify each colour and blend them together. So the yellow will be first. Then the next one will be this lilac. Again above the crease or just above the crease and blend. And the next one will be E1. It's a really similar shade to pigment shade from the Controversy palette from Jeffree Star. And I will go right here. Maybe this one is a bit more pinky than pigment. And the last one in the tail is gonna be E5, the brightest pink you can imagine. So that's like the basic outline and then I'm gonna go back and intensify the colors again. The pink one is quite a hard work, it just would not blend. But I'll go with the pink one, more in my outer corner as well. That 
is bright. And I'll go with the more light pink one, this one. I'll go right next to it on the eyelid. Yeah, the bright pink one is really hard to blend. It's quite patchy. And I'm gonna cut the crease now. I haven't done it on camera before, so hopefully you'll be able to see properly what I'm doing. So I put a bit of concealer on my hand. And then I've got like a special brush for it. It's glued together with um, eyelash glue. Just a normal like old Morphe brush. And then I get a bit of the concealer on. And now... Um, bit above if you can see oh, I'll do the outline oh I can speak and focus on that at the same time kind of like stamp the shape on and then color it in with the concealer so the mirror is further than I would like and I'm blind like a bat so I hope you can see and I hope it looks okay if you have hooded eyes like myself go a bit above the crease so the cut actually shows when you have your eyes open because otherwise it wouldn't show that's kind of what it looks like and now I'm gonna take the light pink again or light-ish And try to blend this a little bit and then in the inner corner I'll start with this one and then I'll go with this one gorgeous color and I'm not gonna wet the brush because the base is tacky anyway so it should intensify the color without wetting the brush talking about it 
does show pretty well on the skin but I'm still gonna use a finger beautiful and then a smaller more pointy brush so I can get to the crease together with the pink one so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna deepen the outer corner a little bit to give the eye a little bit more dimension and I'll use this deepest shade I wish there was black in here but this will have to do oh I don't know if it will do Yeah. We can get rid of that now. Am I too high? I'm really uncomfortable today. And I'll try and blend the line a little bit with this one. Nothing's happening. Maybe I'll just have to leave it like that. Yep, it just wouldn't no move. <laughs> Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Right, I'll just blend this a little bit. And we'll have to work with what we've got. So we've got really sharp line. We're gonna do something under the eye, like this really dark one. And then this pretty purpley blue one. So this is the best we can do now. I'm gonna add brow bone highlight as well. There isn't really one in the palette or not for my skin tone. So I'm gonna use B1. It's gonna be slightly too glittery, but hey. Sorry. Got it about them today, misbehaving. I'm gonna leave it as it is now, do my other eye, and I'll be back. I'm back with the finished look now. I know you're probably thinking it looks different than when I left you with one eye done and it does look different so I will talk you quickly through what I was doing it all just went wrong everything which could go wrong went wrong so I did this eye and then I've decided that I really don't like the wing so I was blending 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 I was blending for about five years and nothing was happening so I just decided to completely remove the, the wings because I, I just wasn't feeling it uh, and then I went to put eyeliner on 
and normally I have such a love-hate relationship with this NYX eyeliner. It's the Epic Ink Liner. Sometimes it works perfectly fine, other times it bleeds like crazy into my eyeshadow. So that's exactly what happened today. Just decided to be a dick and bleed all over the place. So that was fine to, fun to clean up. And then I went to put eyelashes on and I haven't realized that once I've done this eye and I glued the other pair on, or the other half of the pair, uh, it was actually for the same eye. <sighs> yeah. But hey, it's just makeup. So you know when like things go wrong and you think, oh well, just screw it, I might as well play. It can't go any worse. So I've decided to put a bright, bright, bright pink lipstick on. I've got this MAC Candy Yum Yum lipstick. Um, it's in the Christmas packaging. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, as you guessed, it looked absolutely awful on me. I really can't pull it off. I can hardly pull this eye look off. So I replaced it with Velvet Teddy and yeah. I guess I quite like it now, but I'm still on the fence. What do you guys think? Do you like this look? Do you not like it? Would you wear it? Um, I can't decide. So yeah, I'm sorry that it was such a all over the place tutorial and it wasn't very, I don't want to say professional, but well, I'm just a human and sometimes things just go wrong. And it did today. So yeah, what can you do? Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, <laughs> please give it a thumbs up or subscribe or leave me a comment. That would be awesome. And I really hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.